we are a marketplace where you can find and hire local service professionals like plumbers, caterers, tutors, really all the folks that you need to uh, run your home, plan your wedding, um, basically live a richer life. And for these hundreds of thousands of professionals, uh, we help them grow. We help them find new customers and grow their businesses. So we're really helping both sides of this marketplace achieve their goals. The three of us co-founders had met during college and we really got inspired to build something out of nothing and to chase a big dream, which is kind of the opposite way you're supposed to go about it. Typically they tell you to find a problem and then go start the business, but we did the opposite. And what ultimately got us going in this direction was the very simple, almost banal observation that it was 2008 and yet it was still very hard to hire a plumber. And we realized that that was something that not only the internet was uniquely and appropriately able to solve, but if we could do that, we could make a huge impact. The opportunity for doing something big, for having a big impact and solving this core fundamental problem is really what got us going. You know, we've certainly evolved our strategy and our tactics you know, completely multiple times over the last dozen years we've been doing this, uh, but the sort of mission and the ambition has stayed the exact same from the very beginning. One thing to remember when you raise money, um, early on, all you have is a dream and that's what you're selling. And then, you know, where we are sort of the late stages of being a private company, it's all about the data. And the ratio between dream and data changes over time. Um, and you have to sort of know where you are in the process. Um, so early on, because it's just a dream, the people that you're selling are the people who know you. And really what they're doing is betting on you and betting on this dream. Um, then after a bit, you start to have something to show for yourself. And early on, that's sort of maybe the MVP that you've built um, and people start to say, okay, I'm not just betting on you, I'm betting on you as a builder and I can see that you've done that. And so it's a process of sort of de-risking. Um, and then at some point you get to the sort of like pure growth equity stage where really there what you're selling is this machine that is able to take in capital and use that capital to grow effectively and turn it into even more value uh, over time. So uh, it's definitely a journey. Um, I think one mistake that, that I made uh, early on, certainly when we raised our, our first institutional amount of, run, amount of money, was not knowing exactly what the next round was optimizing for. Um, you know, you, you raise money and you say, oh, okay, the next round is gonna be like this one. But no, it's a different investor who's optimizing for different things, who have, has a different risk profile and is looking for different milestones and criteria and making sure that you're having the conversations with the next round of investors so you know what they're solving for and can articulate that story effectively is something that um, I had to learn the hard way. So we certainly pitched plenty of investors who said no. Um, most, uh, most of all during our Series A, the first time we went out to raise institutional money. And the really demoralizing thing about hearing those no's is that it didn't actually shake my confidence in our vision or our idea. I still believe that there was a there there. What it sort of shakes your confidence in is yourself. Um, and that's really hard um, and, and definitely introduces doubt. And you know what we did is to just stay determined and stay stubborn and say, you know what? Um, the vision is still right. The opportunity is still right. Uh, there's an opportunity here that others aren't seeing and we need to be better um, to articulate it more effectively or to communicate it more compellingly. Um, and look, I think the, the most common trait in successful founders is drive. Uh, it's not smarts, uh, it's not technical skills, um, it's just being relentless. Um, and I think that is what got us through it. And I think when you hear stories of others who have struggled, you hear the same thing, just not giving up, being more stubborn than anything else.